Nathan cleverly defeats Jurgen Bremer via six round TKO. Bremer retired at the end of the sixth round with an apparent dislocated elbow. If I sound shocked, it's because I am shocked and I'm bemused. Not because Cleverly won the fight, because going into the fight, I thought Cleverly has a, a fairly decent chance, although I did pick Bremer to win on points. I'm shocked by the manner of the victory and the manner of Bremer's loss. What the hell was that? I have to say right away before I start getting into what actually took place in the fight that the Sky commentary, and many people have have made uh, comments about this over the past few weeks especially, the Sky commentary was farcical. And the scoring especially was even more farcical. They had the fight even after six? What fight were they watching? I saw a fight where Cleverly came out strong in the first round the second round I gave to Bremer when he started landing his left hand and from there on in it was all Jürgen Bremer how in the world could you have scored that even after 6 Bremer was well on top he knocked all the ambition and confidence out of Nathan Cleverly and Cleverly was just throwing out arm punches with nothing on him and all the quality work was coming from Jürgen Bremer and Bremer wasn't throwing you know David Hay versus Valuev three or four punches around. No, he wasn't throwing as much as Cleverly, but he was certainly landing by far more clean, effective punches. It weren't even close. So I think Cleverly, for me personally, I gave Cleverly maybe one round in the fight. Two at an absolute stretch. But even, come on people. I know <laughs> one more to make it even, but still, nah man. I thought Bremer was well on top. So when suddenly he pulled out, I mean, it, it was a high pace. Let's not get it twisted. And that's down to Cleverly forcing Bremer to work at a high pace because he was in Bremer's face. Even though Cleverly did lose confidence and he wasn't attacking Bremer with the same type of intensity as he was early on after he tasted a few left hands. I think maybe he had flashbacks of the Kovalev fight for a second. So he, he kind of eased up off the gas. So he, he wouldn't have a repeat of that situation. Even so, even with the high pace, there didn't seem to be any serious distress signs coming from Jurgen Bremer at all. He did have a little bit of a move around in the f in the fifth, because uh, sorry, in the sixth, because in all the rounds prior to that, he'd been meeting cleverly head on and swinging it out with him in the pocket and getting the better of it. So yeah, he moved around a little bit in the sixth, but to have him pull out like that, retire on his stool. At the end of the six, that I was very surprised. Carl Frotch himself said, look, if he has a dislocated elbow, as long as you can still move your arm, if I was in the same position, I would fight on. That's what Carl Frotch said. Many fighters have fought on in that type of situation. Then again, some fighters have quit. Vitaly Klitschko famously, in a fight he was winning, quit against Chris Bird. So I, I really don't know what to make of it, people. Maybe it's a situation where Bremer thought, you know what, I've got the rematch clause and it's not worth me fighting on and risk my long-term future with this damaged elbow. So let me just retire now and we'll do the rematch for even more money. It'll be a bigger fight. The crowd actually booed when they announced that Nathan Cleverly was the champion. And I, I don't know German fans to be disrespectful like that to somebody who beats one of their own I don't know them to be disrespectful so I think that they thought that there was something fishy about what happened there because they saw Jürgen Bremer getting well on top and being well on the way to a victory and then all of a sudden inexplicably just pulls out of the fight strange 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 high strangeness but let me know what you think about what happened in this fight people some people are going to be speculating that you know <laughs> Eddie Hearn or, <laughs> or Jürgen Bremer in collaboration with the Sauerland set this up as some type of fixed fight, you know? Somebody said, cross my palm with silver and we can make this happen. <laughs> that speculation is going to be out there. Hey, feel free in the comment section. Say what you want. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I'd be interested to hear your thoughts, guys. It's your boy Hatman, I'm out.